Imagine being made fun of every day. Imagine going to school, but not being able to hear what is being taught. Imagine receiving no hope from your doctors. Imagine your world being silent. Imagine for a moment you were Margarita Kaya. My name is Margarita Kaya, and I am currently in the 11th grade. When I was very young, I had an infection in my ear, and it made me very sick. Eventually, I lost most of my hearing. I've been to more doctors than I can remember since I was a child. My parents live here in the village and are very poor. During this time, things moved from bad to worse for Margarita. Not only could she not find a remedy to her illness, she was now struggling to cope with life in school. When I got to grade 8, I had a growth in my ear and I had to have it operated on. Honestly, I was so down, I felt like I was dying. I just felt like I had no reason left to live. Even after the operation, nothing changed. They could not help me get my hearing back. I was so tired of going to the doctors all the time. They never gave me hope, but continued to give me medicine over and over again. The more I took it, the more it became worse. I did my best to continue schooling, but it was still very hard. Other kids at school said I wasn't worthy and it was a waste of time for me to be in school. I almost left school, but I decided to keep trying. Very often, Margarita's school notes were completely different from the lesson the teacher had taught. Because I couldn't hear, I could only follow the writings on the chalkboard. Margarita's only solution was to borrow the notes from her friends after class each day to rewrite and learn. Many times, she contemplated giving up. But because of the partners of World Impact Ministries, her life was about to change. Because of you, she saw a poster. Because of you, she read The Deaf Can Hear. Because of you, she learned of the Ambon Friendship Festival and felt hope. I got to know about the festival through the posters in town, and I got excited about it and really wanted to attend. But my parents and even my sisters did not encourage me to go because they said the festival ground was too far. But there was something in me that urged me to go. I just had to go. I met my friends and we took a bus together to the festival. The moment I walked through the gates, I felt something amazing happen to me that I can't describe. I struggled to hear, but as I was standing close to the big speakers, I faintly heard Pastor Peter ask us to put our hand over our ears. Cover up your ears. I did that, but then I almost felt like someone else was putting their hands over my ears. When I took my hands off, it felt like someone put something into my ears, and suddenly all the sounds started coming in, and I could hear all the voices and sound around me. Tonight, both her ears have opened. That was a turning point in the life of a struggling teenager. God sent forth his word and healed her ears after many years of frustration. Now I'm gonna walk further back. And I'm gonna speak softly. On the stage, Pastor Peter stood behind me because he wanted to check my hearing. And I was thinking to myself, oh no, what if I can't hear? But he said words like Indonesia, Africa, Ambon, and I could hear them all. Indonesia, Africa, Ambon. Margarita's testimony did not end on the stage. On her journey back home, she sent text messages to her family and friends about the miracle she'd received. My journey back home that night was so amazing. I could clearly hear people chatting as they came on the bus. I told my friend how wonderful everything was and how I've decided to give my life to God. Because of you, Margarita can say. My name is Margarita Kaya, and I was healed at the Friendship Festival in Ambon. Margarita was excited to receive a fresh start in her life thanks to the partners of World Impact Ministries.